Those are some nice mins you have there. Uh-oh. Why would you say that? Exactly! It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Please don't do anything- What?! Alright everybody, Baron here and welcome to Swarm Queen! An RTS about insect-like aliens. So, I'm thinking of this as kind of Empires of the Undergrowth meets Guns Up. Let's see what it's all about. This is a game that's inspired by insects, xenomorphs, and the Zerg. We're gonna start here! The Rising Swarm. You found a nice warm geothermal vent to incubate your eggs with, but a rival Swarm Queen may have already claimed it as her own. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Ooh, we're gonna unlock some new minions. What could it be? This one looks like a turtle worm, and this one looks like a zergling. But the only real way to find out... Oh, look at this. Little aliens. Man, can you... This is made by a single dev. By the way, thank you to Mr. Helmy for sending me a steam key for this. Create some harvesters. Okay. Oh. Alright, where are you gonna go? Oh my god, look at that. He's so cute. He's so cute. Alright, I'm gonna get like a bunch of these guys and then they kind of go in order. Now, where are they? Are they... Oh, they're mining this little like purple thing and I wonder if there's a certain amount. Yeah, kind of... It seems to be- Hey, you there! Uh-oh. Who's that at? Oh, it's a rival queen. This is not your territory, lady. We are gonna- We're gonna fight it out. Okay, I'll tell you that much. My species will adapt. We will grow stronger. We will not be denied our purple Kool-Aid juice of glory. If you want this spot, you can have it after you drag my cold dead body off of it. Okay? Alright, well, let's go. Let, let's get- Ooh. To mutate one of your eggs, click and drag it. Ooh. Select the blade maggot, aka the zerglungs. Oh, and there's also hotkeys, so I can just go. Oh, I can't. I, we're still researching them, so I might as well get some more monies. I'm gonna I'm gonna maximize our economy. We're gonna make Xenomorph Zerg insects great again. There we go. Let's get a few of our warriors. Now will they just go and fight? Oh my god, look at how great they look! Can I WASD or like how how do how do I, how do I oh oh well you've got some too um I hope we win so here we go this is kind of like the guns up feeling right oh D A and D okay it does work now gotcha all right if this is gonna be a tug of war I'm just gonna invest more than you are we're gonna commit more to this because I believe that we will win oh come on man get in there we we're gonna lose one we we could have we could have three v two Instead, we're kind of 2v1-ing, but, you know, it's, it's what it is, what it is, what it is. Oh, is that all you've got? Check these out. Oh, you better- oh, you've just got more. Oh, what is that? They got the little mortar worms! Okay, so, there's all kinds of bugs creeping around here. I'm just gonna- I'm gonna- I- I- I, I taste the blood in the water, and I'm gonna come in here. And, uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do my best to just kind of finish off this. So, we're gonna unlock two species from this. Now, does that mean I could have done this? No, I guess... S. I couldn't get that little, uh... weird... worm turtle. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the worm turtle. <laughs> yeah, you should have spawned more harvesters, because it looks like we're also attacking them. There we go! We got a victory! Tell me it's a three-star! Let's move on over. Look at this, we're green. Red never even stood a chance. New thing unlocked for future levels. This is a spitter. Now that I think about it, it's kind of got the face of like, you know, a squid alien with a scorpion mortar tail. Ooh, and it can hit flying enemies. That's great. We'll probably encounter some at some point. Look at this. Oh my gosh. It's birthed a baby alien. <laughs> what is that? Go forth, my little baby alien queen, and conquer new areas. Oh! It can fly! Look at this! Welcome to Swarm Queen, everybody! So, Helmy is a sole indie developer who's been crafting this. Sent me a Steam key via the emails, and I just gotta say thanks, man. After defeating the Red Swarm Queen, you replaced her with your own offspring. Now, as the offspring, you face a new Red Queen. And some kind of weird worm thing. Oh, a new minion. What could it be? Now this one, do you think it crawls around or it kind of hovers and flies? I'm gonna assume it's gonna be a flyer. And this one is a single skull difficulty. 
So we're just gonna go start it up. Here we go into space. Now we're starting out here in our alien bird worm. This is a great spot. Thanks for. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is? Oh, well, that's my friend. She's a weird worm thing. Yeah, she's a weird worm thing. Wormy protects me from intruders. She'd never betray me. That sounds like she's gonna betray it. She's gonna- oh my gosh. Oh, is that- is that a counter? How many seconds? Try it. Oh, we got a little feisty, a little spicy spicy. I'm gonna go ahead and start with four. Oh, it is a countdown. We've gotta be ready to go, boys. And then I'm gonna get- I'm assuming it's a flyer. Oh, we don't have the research yet. Not enough nectar. We ain't got enough nectar. The nectar of the gods. All right, so we should be able to pump out some income, and here we go. Now we can. I'm gonna go ahead and get the spitter. I'm assuming it's a flyer. I don't know what it is. Let's see if I made a terrible decision, which is the beauty of games, right? Like, especially when you just kind of go off your gut instincts. I mean, at least with this one, we can attack both ground and air. And I saved up some money so we could mass produce these bad boys. Oh, and he's sending some attackers. Maybe, just maybe, this isn't a good idea. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're tearing up our ranged... Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? We could... We're, we're, we're gonna have to recover from this. That is for darn sure. There we go. We, we've, we've since come back. So the worm is pooping out bees! Hey! What? We gotta get rid of good old worms, McDermoson. He's spitting out bees. We gotta stop that. I think it's a neutral tower, and if we take it, it'll start spitting at the bad guys. Because the bad guys are the other guys. That's just how it works. You're always the good guy in your own book, am I right? Of course you are. I'm the best good guy of them all. In my book. Guess who's writing my book? Me. That's how history goes, isn't it? I mean, it kind of is, although there are some people who... Oh, look! We turned it... I knew it, man. I knew it. I mean, I had a very strong inclination. When Wormy is hit by a minion, it changes to that minion's team. Well, yes, it does. So now we're not we're not only spitting the bees at them. The bees knees. We got mortars. I'm going to support them with uh, more melee troops. So that they don't oh they are kinda they are kinda sneaking up and getting some hits on my uh my range guys. Oh my god, there we go! There we go! I knew it, man! They got the little flying squids. These things are awesome. I can't wait till I get these. It's kinda fun to have this little progression tree where you know like you defeat the enemy and mission by mission you get access to more more bad guys, right? Especially when it's something like this. It would be kinda cool though. Like, when, when you have, like, the option to mix genetics and make your own species. What the F, Wormy McWormface? That's right, son. You came onto the wrong celestial body. This one's occupied by myself and my little minions. Ooh, we got the Zapper. A new thing. Flying but weak. Can hit both ground and flying minions. Well, I reckon you're right. All right, so now we are moving on. So it looks like we've got a total of... 21 missions and then it goes on. Complete the game to unlock some challenge levels and skirmish ones. Sounds good, man. I'm curious. This might be like a baneling, maybe? Something that goes in and blows up? Alright, so I'm thinking maybe maybe go... Should we do a Zergling Rush? Yeah, yeah, we get it. Oh, and there's someone in the middle. Hi, my mom... Oh, yeah, wait, that's what's up. Oh, yeah, I didn't go on to your daughter. Sorry, lady. <laughs> I like the cheeky dialogue. Okay. Alright, and with that, I'm gonna go with, uh, a Zergling. We're gonna get those researching. We're gonna go for this tower early. Because at 46 seconds, it, it kind of wakes up, right? So I guess if I, if I time it right, I could, um, hit it first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to sneak out one more builder and then save up for the Zergling. Because I don't know, if we get it too early, will we just pass it? How does this work? I'm going for this. We're, we're gonna see what's up. All right, we're sitting on our first Zergling warrior. They don't have any Zergling warriors. <laughs> now I'm gonna call them Zerglings, even though they're blade maggots. You blade maggot. So let's see what happens. Oh, so, oh my gosh! 
My timing is close to perfect. Boop, what's up, girl? <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, we need reinforcements. They've got two versus my one, but at least we got this B thing. Oh, but it won't it won't attack them. Oh, no, man. Oh, man, they're really putting on the full court press. So we got to hit that. And we got to win this engagement. We've got four to their three. There we go. The first target's down. Whoa. No way. Oh! What is that? I'm going to mix up harvesters and warriors, but this is going to be... This is gonna be fierce, man. I guess we could always monopolize the bee. Man, they are they are really kicking my butt. Guys, we are having we're having a bad time. Oh, but at least they're Oh my gosh, they're ganking me. I guess what it is is I'm kinda just setting them out at will. We're gonna we're gonna build up a, a strong momentum here. We're gonna take the bee back. They had that mortar thing that took out so many of my my brave warriors. Maybe what we need... Oh, we need the zappers, don't we? We gotta save up for that. These guys will just have to do it. We've got greater numbers than them. Here. Oh my god! Well, we did until they mortared us. Alright, I'm gonna get these zappers. Weak but flying. Here we go. Because they're not investing in flying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it up. Man, those mortar things that this guy fires. We're gonna get that next. wonder how much these things cost. Let's see, I think it's 50, right? Ooh, 30, ain't bad. We'll get two of them. That way we can do air superiority over these little gremlins. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them. This, this, this bee thing is kicking my booty, but... Oh my god, and the mortars. But now, with our zapping abilities... And the fact that we don't have to get... They, these are just melee, ground melees. So this is this is where we turn the tide of battle right here. This is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. On mission number three? Like, the first ones were like, hey, welcome to the game. And now it's like, oh, son, you better step your game up. There's some alien buggy bugs going to bite your butt. I'm like, well, I guess you're right. Dang, that mortar. Yeah, the zappers are really helping me turn the tide. We gotta get, We got to hit this worm. These bees are kicking my butt. Oh, yeah, we got air superiority. What's up? What's up, little... Are you gonna shoot that mortar thing? Are you gonna do that thing? I don't know why all of a sudden, like, every now and then I'll just get, like... I'll just have a penchant to, like, bring up an accent. Oh, we're getting some... We're getting some progress. Send in the reinforcements. Oh, and there goes the mortar. Destroying my dreams. Here's my reinforcements. Whoa, man, just trickling in. I'm gonna save up some money. I'm actually gonna invest in another worker. I probably should be going for the finishing blow, but you know what? What? Whatever, man. They, they never said more money, more problems. You know what I mean? More nectar, more nar nar, right? I mean, and we're going. We want a lot of nar nar. I'll be honest. We got. We gotta get it. <laughs> Still got my cough, man. It's annoying as 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 this queen is. So with the bee, with our constant stream of reinforcements, with our super grub worms, and the fact that we're destroying some of theirs. I think we've got this one in the bag here, boys. They got a few little a few little guys coming out. Good job, jerk face. Thanks. Oh man, they're they're still I'm glad I didn't get overconfident and just stop building. Because they definitely keep that mortar thing. So we've got five options. One of which is kinda always taken by the harvesters, right? There we go. There it is. And victory. So you can see kind of this tug of war system. Which is similar in aspects to, like, guns up. A neurotoxin poisons enemy minions and makes ground minions run away for a moment. That would explain... Ah, I like that. So it gives you this critical moment where you can take advantage of it. Alright, so what do we got? Ooh, a new minion. What could it be? That one looks like a... Kind of like a scorp... A scor... A scorpion? A scorpion? No, a scorpion without its tail. Boop. Not ready yet. Oh, we ready. Good luck, have fun. GG, LOL, Rafflecopter. Oh. He's gonna Zerg rush me. I'm on to your tricks. I mean I'm assuming that's what he's doing, right? Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna watch his his early progress here. Alright, and I'm gonna get the other one, and then I'm gonna get the early tower, hopefully. Alright, we're gonna send two Zerglings out after them. Yeah, you can see. Oh, is this my production versus theirs? Oh, that's how much a neurotoxin costs. Or maybe it's a timing. 
There's a timer and then how much it costs. Okay, I got you. Now you're gonna have to defend yourself. There you go. All right, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna save up for this and I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the neurotoxin. Aha! Okay, I see how that uh, that's working. That actually helped me for a time. All right, now we're gonna invest in another uh, little minion worm. Man, this is like it's. Reminds me a lot of the games we've played. We're gonna get another cure in here. Oh, oh, duh, that makes a lot more sense. Boom, that thing is a game changer. All right, so with this, I'm gonna wait for the, you know what? Let's get the mortars again. And I really like this mortar, man. It's, it's super effective. So I think that's the thing, just like StarCraft in those kind of games, you gotta continually be building um, harvesters, right? Here we go, oh, that's, we're over the line. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these bad boys up in here. Oh yeah, we, we've got we've got the critical mass. So what we're gonna do is gonna get flyers. We're making progress, the bee's doing its thing. So what we're gonna need, we should save up. Oh man, these guys are gonna get wrecked. We're gonna save up a bunch of money and send them all out relatively. Oh, this poor guy. He's like, hey guys, how you doing? Oh, yeah, it's not looking good. All right, we've got a full squad coming out. Plus, I've got this thing. So once my, my team arrives, I could have used the Q, but I'm gonna wait, because they're gonna have a big bunch over here. Come on, once they bunch up. There we go. Boom, neurotoxin, you sons of guns. Tip, if you don't feel like aiming, double clip. Oh, I like that. I like the little shortcuts. That's, that's like attention to detail right there, man. You gotta have that in the game. And they do. Sending the reinforcements. We got air support. We got heavy artillery. We got light artillery. And there we go. This should be this should be enough. I can't use my mortars over here. I, I, I love calling them mortars. I mean, it's just, just like the way it is, you know? I wonder what, like, the, oh, this is the new guys. These are the new guys, I just realized. And they are tearing me up. They are really tearing me up. But we've got all kinds of stuff, but they're melee only, so that's the thing. They're better. It's like, it looks like they're two to three times better. Yeah, we're, we're just looking to finish this off, and it looks like we will attain victory. No rush 20 minutes. Yeah, right, buddy. I love the little jokes, man, to the games that have inspired it. Look at that. Kicking their booty butts, man. Army. Oh, yeah. Queen health. Miscellaneous stats. Oh, total nectar earned. It seemed... Really? They earned just as much as I did? Ooh, here we go, the Skitterbug. Upgrade to Blade Maggot's charge moves faster when not on the front lines. Interesting. Or hit by ranged, oh wow. I wonder how much those things cost, we're gonna find out. Oh, look at this, the evolution. It'd be 75, okay, good to know, good to know. Oh my gosh, man. I wasn't really anticipating this. Here we go, that should help. Yeah, come on, boys. This is kind of it's kind of worrisome. The the momentum of this is not really in our favor right now, and they're cheap. These guys are a lot cheaper. All right, well, if you want to mass produce those, we can do that too. Boom, modify! Oh my gosh, talk about mass production. I wish I knew how many he had. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got about as many as I do. They kind of, maybe they match my economy. And then I've got to, they got to, I got to outsmart them. I think that what we, what they're forcing us to do is we've got to save up. So what I'm going to do is just try to continue to supply the front lines while catching up on money. There we go. That, that should have helped a little bit. They just keep pumping out numbers, man. We're going to get the blade maggot upgraded to the other guy. Because he's really good, I think, when he gets attacked by range, he charges them, right? So they're trying to trigger that. They're, they're, they're trying to teach us. There we go. We're evolving. And then, I think once we start getting close, then they show off the new one. That's kind of, that's kind of been the trend so far, I've seen. Alright, oh look, now they got these little jellyfish things, and they're multiple mortars! Oh my gosh! Well, it's a good thing, we, we did this evolution. So once we get to the front lines, they go slower. My goodness. 
All right, we'll do that to kind of force the issue here. That helped, actually. That helped a lot. Well, uh, not a lot, you know? I want to buy another worker. Goodness, they're just pumping them out! I don't think we've got enough, man. We don't right now. I'm going to go for a little bit of extra monies. And then I think I want air support, too. I want air support and these guys. And we'll, we'll have enough. I'm going to save up. I'm going to save up. I'm going to let them come. Let them come. Let them eat cake. Let them eat these weird fishy squiddy things. Oh my gosh, that was just instant. Boom. Critical mass. Now we're going to charge them. I think these guys are definitely the way to do it. I'm also going to bring in air support though. I think we need to start balancing our forces up. Use these mortars at the right time. Maybe bring in our own? Oh, now they're bringing in melee warriors, huh? But we've got better ones. And I've got air support. Ha ha! The day is mine, hopefully. Oh, wow. Oh, he's getting crushed. <laughs> Those things shoot him down so fast. Here we go. You think this is it? It's gotta be, really. It's a tough day out here in the bug bug area. The, 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 the bugs. I'm glad that their mortars kind of focus, allowing me to get melee and I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another air yeah we've got him now that was tough this is challenging man the tug of war sometimes it seems like they got your number you know GG lol raffle copter we have unlocked the funny looking squid things army wow yeah at one point they definitely had more but that was when we did that research so it's not just quantity has a quality all its own. Quality has a quality all its own. We're not the Joseph Stalins of the bug xenomorph zergling world. So we got the spewer, which is an upgrade. There is a little bit of evolution. So let's see. We've got, what, 14? New? A new ability. Oh, man. They're going to use these new mortar things on me. That's scary. So I guess at some point you're going to be able to branch off from all of them, I think. I think I might just not go Zerglings this time. I might, or maybe, maybe I'll try to just jump the tech. Oh, I forgot to build the Zergling this time, so our, tam our timing is off. Oh no, and they did it, man. I'll have to use a Q-bomb. Yeah, my timing, my timing is all off, man. We really, we really botched it. Oh, I don't even have the Q, wait, I do have the Q-bomb. We'll use it. Because I want to I wanna start investing in economy. Go ahead and hit that tower for me, baby. 75. Is it worth it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Ooh. Will this guy get a few extra hits? Why? Oh, why he was confused? I thought... I hope so. I had hoped so. We'll get some of those mortars because they're pretty cheap. Oh, we'll get one of these. He's gonna he's gonna get up in here, man. All right, so we'll have our better warriors, and then we'll support them with some uh, barrages here. I'm going for I'm going for the upgrades, man. Let's see how much is the upgrade. Oh, it's only fifty for the mass spammer. We're trying to control the middle ground, and it's proven tricky. They still haven't evolved. We've got the edge on evolution. I'm gonna oh ooh I'm gonna do it again. Evolution is our future. Oh, and you can actually, I can actually go back and get the cheap ones. But I don't want to. I want superior weaponry. Man, yeah, now they're, now they're spamming this, so all I gotta do is outspam their spam. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, so I think theirs is just a better version. Alright, so yeah, they're just spamming these guys now. So then we'll just spam the better ones. What's up, dude? We'll get 10 workers. Where's my reinforcements at? I guess because of the evolution, we are a little behind on supply lines, you could say. So we got these funny little squids. Oh my goodness. I gotta save up. I gotta save up for a critical push. Like they do. They do it in waves. And this is a mistake that I've made in Guns Up many a time. And I just need to learn my lesson. Kind of use that to buy some time because it's cheap. Oh man, that guy moved in. Here we go. This should be pretty good. We've lost the middle ground. But... We got better stuff. Oh, and they keep they keep using that. That's kind of the difference maker is their, their artillery support. 
So we're gonna take the next step. You know they're gonna, you know they're gonna bring in something and we're gonna want our fly boys here. So we'll take this moment and I'm gonna cue ball these guys in the face. I'll call them two fly boys. Oh, and then we need ground reinforcements. We've almost lost ours. And I think this will hopefully be enough. Here we go, but the air support's coming in. Air support ganks them. I totally forgot about that. We need to focus on those guys, force them to make shooters. And then these guys will get their shooters. Otherwise, we, we kind of operate with impunity here. There we go. And there we go, guys. Those are some nice mins you have there. Uh-oh. Why would you say that? Exactly. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Please don't do anything. What? He just... Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. They just nuked me. Oh, he only had, they only had one bio nuke? Okay, so it even has a name. I mean, obviously it has a name, but the bio nuke, it's rather fitting. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, I was really worried. If they had multiples of those... Oh, did that guy? Oh, wow. Come on, man. I need more income. I wish I wish you could, like, upgrade these guys. Maybe at some point you could. So we're investing in... I think this is the time. We would have had them. If it wasn't for that bio nuke. Man, that does so much damage. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a nice, balanced force. Gotta remember to keep building the melee guys. Keep those guys supplied to the front. Not enough nectar. You must construct additional nectars. My life for nectar. Nectar cruiser operational. Nectar has arrived. I'm trying to think of like all the StarCraft things I remember. Where does it hurt? You remember, you remember the medic from the uh, Brood War expansion? Oh man. What a game. What a game. All right. What do you got for me, buddy? Because you know you're going down here. And this is... So, Swarm Queen has been pretty fun. It's been a nice, simple game. Let's get... Oh, man. That was... What was that? Was that me? Yeah, that was that was her with her little assault thing. So, the fours... Number four. The little... What did The zappers are the fastest to get to the front line. So, those are going to be the guys I want to be sending down. You're still a tail, terrible role model for women. The memes in this game are incredible. But I'm a great role model for Swarm Queens. That's what's up! We got three stars to victory. We did it again. So let's see. We got the bio nuke. New thing unlocked for future levels. That is fantastic. We're gonna take a look real quick. What's this next one? Oh, this is the upgrade for the flyer. For the zapper. A super zapper. Ionized Plasma, Capacitive Voltage, Magnifier, and Science Tentacles. I love it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching our episode of Swarm King. Swarm Queen, not to be confused. An RTS about insect-like aliens. Thank you to the developer for sending me a key. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this, because it is pretty cool of a concept. It's rather... I like to think of it like if we were just overly simplified, it's kind of a guns up meets Empires of the Undergrowth meets StarCraft. Let me know if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video.